This is probably the most famous that we know of African-American nurses, Susie King Taylor, because she was different in the way is that she was literate. She wrote her memoirs. That's why she, we know so much about, there were probably goo gobs and goo gobs of African-American nurses, but they weren't literate, so their stories then were never known. But she, uh, growing up in uh, Georgia, uh, near Savannah, was, when she was around six years old, allowed her and her brother to leave the plantation of the Grest family, if I'm not mistaken, to go live with her grandmother who lived in urban, if you will, Savannah. It is there that next door to her house, an illegal school where she was uh, taught for two years. Later, she would have African, uh, I mean, a, a white playmate who after asking, now this is extremely, extremely dangerous, to ask, uh, her white playmate asked her mother, could she teach Susie King Taylor uh, after a, a, an afternoon hours, if you will? And the mother was like, yeah, no problem, <laughs> okay? There were, and let me say this, there were uh, uh, European uh, people, uh, Caucasian people in the South who were fair-minded, okay, uh, who the pervasive uh, attitudes, if you will, of the day did not influence them to the extent where they were not sympathetic to the plight on some occasions to African Americans. She was taught by that playmate. Around, when she was around 14 years old, the Civil War breaks out. So she sent back to the plantation. And one of the things was interesting uh, is that when the enslaved Africans uh, heard that Union troops were coming close to the plantations, they just stopped working. All right. They said, OK, the Union troops are coming. So this is our chance to run away. So her uh, uncle uh, took their family and they ran away to a, um, a Union fort. And um, it was there that she met a, a Union soldier who found out that she could read and write. And before she was a nurse, she was a teacher of around 40 students during the day, young students, and a, a teacher of adults in the afternoon or in the evening, if you will, okay? Uh, she goes on uh, to uh, be employed, if you will, and had the same problem uh, as Harriet Tubman, and that was not being paid uh, the right wages. Uh, her and the others that I will speak about, one of the main sticking points was, well, you're not human, well, you're not equal, well, I guess we need you, so we'll use you, so, uh, well, we won't pay you right. Some type of way to uh, show the contempt or the process that has entered the mind about, if you will, people of African ancestry. So she goes on to become a nurse, um, also write her memoirs, nurse the wounds of soldiers. She marries a soldier. Uh, and has an incredible career.